I'm gonna take a look at simulatory and transformations and that's really just putting things together, it's nothing new. So make a tab, similar triangles and transformations. You don't get uh, you don't get any credit if you sketch, it must be exact, so you need to draw out a graph. Alright, so on your graph, if you're drawing out your Y, your lowest one is going to be negative 8, your highest one is going to be 6, so it has to be that high. On the second one, um, lowest is negative 9 and the top is 4. On the third one, um, highest is 9 and the lowest is negative 9, so it has to be that long. And then on your last one, the lowest negative 3, the highest is 9, so it has to be that high, just so it can fit on the page. If you don't get it to all fit on the page, just use another page and just have it titled the same way. So let's take a look at number one. All right, so you have transformation R of triangle RST to R prime, RS prime, T prime. I'm gonna go ahead and plot those out and see what happens. So negative six, negative five, negative seven, positive two, negative three, negative one, and then R prime, oh, so we can go ahead and join RST. So it's a triangle that looks like this. R prime is negative 6, negative 8, so left 6, down 8, so start at 0, 0, left 6, down 8. S prime is negative 8, 6, left 6, and left 8, I'm sorry, and up 6, negative 8, 6. And then T prime is 0, 0, so that's just 0, 0. I'll go ahead and join those up. So basically we're asking what happened from the original to now this new shape that we have. So let's need to check color in the smaller of the two triangles. Alright, so first step is always going to be plot the coordinates. So they don't always give you a graph, you need to get used to drawing it for yourself. Plot the coordinates. Alright, so number two, since the dilation is centered at the origin, you can move the point to the origin. In other words, you know, move T to T prime. And then just write the translation rule. How did I move from T to T prime? So I'm going to move right and up. So right is positive, up is positive, both positive. And I'm moving right, how many spaces? Three. And up how many? One. So the translation rule is x plus three and y plus one. That means right three, up one. All right. Um, and write down the translation rule. All right, step three, to find the dilation. So now the triangle is the same place. Pick a side and write the vertical and horizontal length on the original. This is a listening check, put a box around the number three. All right, so this is what I mean. So take TR for example, horizontally it's three, and then vertically, one, two, three, vertically it's four. All right, so that's what you're doing. Step four, repeat step three for that same side on the new one. So repeat that exact same step, but on the new one. So now T prime and R prime. So T prime and R prime. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and up eight because it's eight over there. All right, step five, dilation. If you remember to find the scale factor, it's new over old, so set it up and simplify. New over old. So the prime is your new, your old is your original. So six over three, or you could have picked the other side, which is um, eight over four. Let's go ahead and simplify that out. So if you simplify by 2, you're going to get 2 over 1. Simplify by 4, you're going to get 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. So your scale factor is 2. All right, let's take a look at another question. So what transformations move triangle ABC to A prime, B prime, and C prime? All right, so go ahead and plot all the points. So 6, 4, 8, 2, 4, 1. ABC, join the points together. It's a listening check. Color in only the letter A of this triangle. Color in the letter A of this triangle. Now let's plot the transformation. So it's going to be 0, 0. And then 6, negative 6, that's right 6 and down 6. That's B prime. And then C prime is negative 6, negative 9. So that's going to be left 6 and down 9. We'll go ahead and join the points. So in order to get the original to this transformed, what did we do? We translated it and made it bigger. So let's figure out how we translated it. So we plotted the points. Let's check our translation. So pick a point and see how it got there. So how did A get to A prime? We are going to go down four and left six. And you can count it out or you can use the numbers. We're gonna go down four and left six. 
the translation rule is x minus 6, y minus 4. So that's 4, and that's 6. Alright, let's figure out our dilation. So remember, pick a side and write the vertical and horizontal length of the original. So I'm going to do AB. So that's going to be 2, 2. And I'm do the same thing for the new one, A prime and B prime. So that's going to be 6, 6. And I'm just using the numbers, it's so much faster. And then set up your, for your scale factors, new over old. So your new one is the prime ones. So it's going to be 6 over 2 or 6 over 2. Go ahead and simplify that. 2 goes into 6 3 times, into 2 1 time. Same thing with the other ones. Your scale factor is 2. And that makes sense because look at what happened. The original picture got bigger. It's a whole number. Same thing here. The original one got bigger. It's a whole number. All right, let's take a look at another example. All right, so plot negative 4 1, negative 6, negative 9, left 6, down 9, negative 10, 9, left 10, up 9. This is a listening check. Color in the two symbols of the triangles in the question. So triangle EFG, triangle E prime, F prime, G prime. And hey, if you don't have a ruler, that's okay. Just use an ID or something, anything that's, you know, straight. As you can see, I'm using a restroom pass. All right, so let's draw the transformed one, which is gonna be zero, zero, so that's the origin. Negative one, negative five, left, one down five negative three four left three up four and then go ahead and connect the dots all right so what happened so we can see it got smaller so i already know my scale factor is going to be a fraction so let's look at the translation first how did i move from e to e prime i'm going to go down one and right three so I'll write the rule down. All right, x, y's is, I went right, so that's gonna be plus four, and y, y's I went down one, so that's gonna be minus one. All right, scale factor is pick any side. I'm gonna pick EF. All right, so that's gonna be of the original. You have to start of the original. So two, and then 10 up. And you can count the boxes out if you want to. And then of the uh, new one, I went one, one, and then I went five up. All right, so then set it up, new over old. So that's going to be one over two or five over ten. You can simplify the five over ten. Five divided by five is one. Five to ten divided by five is two. So scale factors are half, and it makes sense because it got smaller. Let's take a look at one last example. So go ahead and plot my point, seven, zero, seven, right, zero and then negative two, nine, and then negative eight, three, so left three, up three. Join the points up. This is a listening check. Circle F on the triangle. Circle the letter F on the triangle. All right, my next one is gonna be three, negative three, so that's right three, down three. Zero, zero is the origin. Negative two, negative two is left two, down two. So we can see my shape got smaller, so I should expect my scale factor to be a fraction. Now let's see how I translated it. How did I get from E to E prime? I'm gonna go down nine and right two. So right two is plus two on X, and down nine is negative nine on Y. All right, scale factor, pick any side. Let me pick EF. So EF on the original is six, and you can count it out, six and six. On the new one, it's two and two. So you set it up new over old, so two over six and two over six. Simplify by two, so that's one and three, one and three. So my scale factor is one over three. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's practice.